today, we're unlocking the secrets to creating stunning charts in Microsoft Excel. But why is visual impact so crucial in data presentation? And how does it enhance audience understanding? Here's the scenario. We've been tasked with presenting the global sales performance of electronics and apparel across different regions. We need to highlight sales trends and compare performance between the regions. So here's a question. How can we visually represent the data set? On the insert tab, have a look at the bar charts and the column charts. We'll choose this first chart here. And to be honest, this chart has everything that we need. We can see the regions going across the horizontal axis at the bottom, a separate column for each product and sales figures to make up the vertical axis. Now, if we want to see what the data will look like as a pie chart, we can click this button here. Let's choose a pie chart. And a pie chart is ideal for displaying proportions of the whole. So we can think of each segment as a percentage of the entire sales figures. And to give the pie chart more meaning, we might choose a different style. This one here would be perfect. Now that we've seen how to insert different chart types, let's get into the nitty gritty of formatting data and get in our spreadsheet ready. And this is really a tidying up exercise. The first thing we need to do is make sure the column headings have meaningful titles and rename them when necessary. We need to fill in any missing data. We definitely don't want those blank rows in our data and these would also mess up the resulting chart. If we select this row, hold down the control key, select the other rows, we can right click and choose delete. Take a close look at the sales column. We have some inconsistent formatting going on here. Some rows do not have any decimal places and some rows are missing the currency symbol. This may cause issues in our chart presentation and we ought to tidy it up. Select the entire column and change it to currency. And these two buttons allow us to increase or decrease the decimal places. Sometimes it helps to sort our data in a logical order, which will enhance the visual flow of our chart. We'll do a custom sort, which allows us to sort by more than one column. The first column will be the region, and then we'll sort by the product column. Okay, our little table of data is ready. Let's insert a chart. We'll choose this column chart again. Notice that the chart flows in the same order that we sorted the data set. We want to elevate this chart from good to exceptional. We can change the color of the columns by clicking on this button here. On the format tab, we can change the outline border that goes around the charts. This is known as the shape outline. We can add different effects to the chart, like this lovely glow effect. We wanna make the chart title stand out a little bit more. We'll add a subtle background fill, give the title box a little border, and then back on the home tab, let's make the text bold. As well as making our chart visually stunning, another powerful technique is the use of annotations, which help to tell the story in the visual. If we need to explain the anomaly in the poor sales figures in South America, we can insert a simple text box. We'll need an arrow to go with this text box. 